Plum Offset is a very powerful tool. I will show you what it does. Um, I can create some kind of layer. Um, let's say I'll create a wide rectangle like this and um, just give it some other color. Let's say uh, some nice green one. And this will be my A. And I can just copy, um, I can copy a B layer and I can make some change to it. For example, I will move it to the right or I can rotate it by uh, 45 degrees. And now if I select the first layer and second layer in the direction I would like to continue and I hit this on offset, it will continue with those changes. So as you can see, it just continues creating new layers and continues with those changes I made there. Um, let me show you another example uh, which could be useful for this. Um, I'll just change the, this layer a little bit. Just let's say, do something like this. Something like this, okay. And make sure the origin is center, center. Okay. And let's say I create a copy and I will uh, rotate it by 36 degrees, something like this. And I select the first one, second one, and I will just continue. And you can see I have some kind of like radial clones here. Um, this is one of the examples. Or what you can do as well is, um, let's say I wanna create, this my rectangle. I make a copy of it and I create another one where I set up the visibility, the opacity to 90 and now I will select the first one, second one and I just go like this and you can see it goes up to zero. So um, anything um, regarding to position, rotation, scale, um, even visibility um, or uh, you know fading opacity stuff like that could be uh, it's considered in this clone. So um, this is basically uh, how this works, and you can also do the same with the you know with the whole groups, and uh, not only with the layers. And we'll always have a look at the you know changes you make. If I go here and I go a little bit like this, and these. And I will scale it up a little bit and then I select it again. I can go also in the opposite direction. We can select the second one, then the first one, and we'll go in the you know opposite kind of like direction with that and continue with those changes. It will offset those changes. Um, what is cool here, let me show you another example. Um, let's for example say we would like to create um, like of European Union, which is like 12 stars, um, e um, equally, you know, uh, divided on some circle. Um, let me just put the origin here in the center. And now what we need to do is we need some circle where we can place these. So I'll just create a stroke to, you can, you can see it. So we have our path basically. And what's cool in Moho, you can place um, you can place things on the paths. There's a, a function for that, and it's here. So follow path. So I select my layer, what I want to place the path, and then I can just click on the path, and I can, you know, place it there. And I can make a copy again, and this copy I can, you know, uh, move a little bit around. And what I can do now is select the first one, second one, and then use this tool to you know continue with those changes along the path if i hit the point where is they, they, they should like our shoot the first one they will just um equally be divided so i think this is also a very powerful way to you know um play something if i go again i can do something like this so i have only two and i select first second one and now i go again so you can see, see why the four, five, six, and so on and so on along the path. And um, this is, I, I think this is quite powerful thing if you, if you think about it. 
Um, what you can do also in this case is to you can also create something like uh, let me just turn off the strong and make them fill there. Um, so let's say rotate the follow path. This could be turned on. And now I create a clone which I will move a little bit along the path and I will select first second. And I will continue with this and you can do effects like this, you know. So um, before doing something like that, uh, so doing something like this would be pretty difficult, but now it's um, easily possible with this um, clone offset tool. So have a fun with these.